How to clean a toilet without a brush? Hey! Subscribe to the channel, click on the bell and listen carefully. To clean a toilet bowl without a brush, you will need, cream cleaner, green scrubby, a cleaning disinfectant or disinfectant cleaner, gloves, microfiber cloths, glass cloths. Most people assume that using a multi-purpose bathroom cleaner is enough to clean all surfaces. However, this may not be the case, depending on the ingredients of your spray. An all-purpose bathroom cleaner will clean the gunk but will not kill any germs, there is a good chance you may remove some bacteria as you are wiping but not all of them. So, effectively after you'd cleaned using an all-purpose bathroom cleaner, you'd need to respray it with a disinfectant to kill the germs after you've removed the dirt. However, there are products which do both jobs, and it's important to understand that you can't just spray a disinfectant and expect it to work straight away. Most disinfectants have a dwell time of between 5 and 10 minutes, so it's a good idea to spray thoroughly covering the whole surface, then walk away and clean something else while it's killing all those pesky bacteria. How to clean a dirty toilet without a brush? Now you've got your cleaning kit, the big question is, how do you clean a toilet without a brush? 1. Start on the outside and remove any hair or dust with a dry cloth. Don't skip this step as it is probably the step which will save you the most time in the long run. I prefer to hoover the whole of the bathroom before I start cleaning to remove any hairs and dust which would stick to all the surfaces if they got wet. 2. Dot spray down the outside of the toilet, the floor around the toilet, the seats and the insides of the lids, with the cleaning disinfectant, spray the floor around the toilet bowl and leave it for the specified dwell time according to the manufacturer. Don't skip the dwell time as this is the bit which kills the bacteria. 3. Dot start by cleaning the outside of the toilet, starting from the top down to the bottom and then wipe the floor and walls around the toilet. 4. Dot change your cloth. 5. Use a dry cloth to dry and polish the areas you have just cleaned. 6. Dot with another new cloth, clean the lid, toilet seat, underneath of the seat in that order to ensure you are cleaning the most contaminated parts of the toilet last. Make sure that the bit at the back of the seat is also clean. 7. Dot clean the upper rim of the toilet. 8. Dot remove any hard urine stains from under the seat with your scrubber and some cream cleaner. 9. Dot squirt a liberal amount of cream cleaner into the toilet bowl. 10. Dot get your green scrubber and scrub hard underneath the rim, and inside the toilet bowl. It is easier to get the bowl clean if you remove the water from the bowl first. You can remove the water from the bowl by bunching up some paper towels and soaking up the water then throw the paper towels away. 11. Dot when you are finished cleaning the toilet bowl, flush the chain and use the toilet brush or cloth to rinse away any residue. 12. Dot with a clean, dry cloth, dry and polish all the surfaces you've just cleaned. 13. Dot check for dust or hairs and remove or buff if necessary. How to clean a toilet without scrubbing. A lot of areas have hard water, which can stain toilet bowls quite severely, and you might need something that will remove hard water stains in the toilet. If you've tried the steps above and you're still struggling with toilet bowl stains, you may need to try using a pumice stone. There is a particular pumice stone available for use in the toilet, you can find one here pumice cleaning stone with handle, cleaning block deep stains and hard water ring remover for loo it's important to go for natural pumice rather than a manufactured one and always to use it wet. It's very important that you try it on your toilet in an inconspicuous place as it may scratch depending on what your toilet is made from and always follow the manufacturer's instructions before using. Which is the best toilet brush to use? You, toilet brushes are the most horrendous of items to keep in your bathroom especially when you've got little kids who want to stir it in the bowl before they've flushed. I do not clean with a toilet brush because I don't feel that it cleans the bowl as well as putting your hands down with some glove on and scrubbing with a green scrubby and some cream cleaner. Toilet brushes can be huge germ collectors especially when they get full of soggy loo roll and other unmentionables. I was hugely thrilled when I found a solution to this gross problem in the shape of a rubber loo brush, nothing sticks to it, there are no screws to go rusty and it's super easy to sanitize. How to keep your toilet fresh and clean every day. Okay, 
Now you've got your Lu super sparkly and squeaky clean you'll want to keep it that way. There are two ways you can keep your toilet pristine one dot don't let anyone use it. Two or give it a quick swish every day after everyone has used it. Obviously, number one is impractical, so you will have to get used to swishing it every day. Wipe off the hair and dust with a dry cloth first. Spray a tiny amount of disinfectant cleaner on the seat and underneath the seat and allow to sit. Wipe the seat and underneath quickly. Using a loo brush, squirt some cleaner into the bowl and swish quickly around the bowl and under the rim. Wipe down the front of the loo and around the floor. Quickly dry with a dry cloth. Put a like under this video, subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell and share this video with your friends.